Magandang magandang na magandang umaga, tanghali, hapon, gabi sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Johnny Aaron B. Dublin, your dad. Yung kahit maraming babae ang dumating sa buhay ko, pero ikaw pa rin ang number one sa jab-jab ko. Dayang Mike Alexander B. Dublin, your lean. Yung taong mamahalin ka pa rin kahit ang mahal mo ay iba din. Kahit ang mahal mo ay iba din. And welcome to Jump Lean Blast! In today's video, we will talk about the different hardware components of our computer. So, let's roll! So, what are the hardware components of a computer? So, the lesson will introduce you to the computer, your knowledge about the elements of the computer, and how they work will enable you to easily understand the lessons on how hardware, software, and networks. So, fasten your seatbelt mga kadab and lean. So, what is a computer? A computer is a machine with electronic and electromechanical parts. It is programmable and is capable of performing the following basic computing functions. Accept data or input, process data, generate output or information, store data or information, retrieve, send data or information. Also, computers are machines made up of different parts. The physical components are called hardware. So, what is hardware? Hardware is a physical component of a computer system. It refers to the electromechanical parts and devices that make up a computer. Mm. So, hardware has five basic computer operations. First, input, or what we call input hardware. These are used to enter data into a computer by encoding via keyboard, direct reading through scanners, and pointing devices like mouse. Example of input devices, as you can see, touchscreen, mouse, keyboard, and so on. So, second, processing and memory. The processor and the main memory devices are the brains of the computer, also known as the CPU or Central Processing Unit. CPU or the processor interprets and executes instructions, while the main memory serves as the computer's workspace. One example of processor is Intel CPU. Next, memory. The computer's workspace where application instructions and data are held using operation is called memory, also known as main memory or primary storage or RAM, or random access memory. What is random access memory or RAM? So, the amount of memory av available determines the kind of software that can be run and how much data can be manipulated. The available RAM at present ranges from 32 MB, 64 MB, or 128 MB up to 1 GB or more. So this is the random access memory. So aside from the RAM, the computer also has a ROM or read-only memory, which is used to store the boot program and other low-level information that enables the computer to start up and to recognize its hardware parts. So third, output. Output devices comprise hardware used to display or produce the output from the computer system after data has been processed. Main output devices are monitors for displaying the output and printers for producing a permanent copy. So these are the examples of output devices, speaker, headphones, screen or monitor, printer, projector, plotters, and etc. For secondary storage, storage devices, the hardware used to retain data for future use are called storage devices. These de devices may be found inside or outside the computer. So, example of storage devices, hard disk, RAM, room, CD or DVD, floppy disk, memory card, pen drive, tape, and so many. The last is communications. Communications hardware, also called networking devices, are used to extend the processing capabilities of a computer using a providing means of transferring data and applications from one computer system to another. 
So, hardware are the physical parts of the computer. Its components perform a specific function that contributes to the performance of the whole system. However, to make the computer work, it needs software. Software sets the rules and procedures for the hardware to do what it has been instructed to. What's up, mga kadab and kalin? So that's it for this video. So that's it for this video. Sana marami kayo natutunan. Paki-like and subscribe na rin ang aming channel. So kung may gusto pa kayong matutunan, just comment it below. No? So again, this is your Dub. And I don't know where's my Lin. And again, welcome to Dub Lin Black. We're out.